Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It is Brittany. So in today's video, I have another human hair wig review for you guys. It is not a headband wig video and we'll get back to it because I feel like those are going to stay around. So I'm going to have just as much lace wig reviews as I do headband reviews on my channel. But anyway, today's video is brought to you by Royal Me. Um, I have worked with them in the past. So they sent me an email and they had like a list of different bobs to choose from. And I figure I don't do a lot of short wigs on my channel just because my preference is um, for wigs that are like 16 inches in that realm, like right around here. If I'm gonna do short, it's probably gonna be like 14 to 16 inches. Well, 16 isn't short, but I like wigs that are like collarbone length if I'm gonna do something shorter or I can do super long wigs. So, um, but variety is good to have on my channel. So I was like, let me try this 10 inch wig that they had featured like on this list to choose from. So um, I don't know, I'll have the name and all the specs for this wig in the description box for you guys. So what I noticed about this wig as I unboxed it, the the packaging and everything was top notch. I was looking at the, you know, cap construction, get into the lace. The lace melted down pretty easily and I think it looks pretty decent as well. It definitely looks good in here. In natural light, it looks pretty good too. Um, it's not 100% unclockable, but it's a lot better than some of the like mid-tier, or like lower end, like human hair wigs I've tried. And that is what you pay for with companies like Royal Me. They come with wigs that that have really nice lace. Lace that will melt really easily with your complexion regardless if you are, you know, my skin or a deeper complexion. So I think the lace is really good. And if you, I haven't worked with lace in a while because I've been doing the headband wigs, but these are the kinds of wigs that I like if I'm going to do lace because just it makes the process so much easier when you have thin lace that actually melts down. And that is something I have to give uh, credit to Royal Me for, for having really nice lace. Now this, the color of this wig, this is a trending color. It looks like early 2000s to me with the chunky highlights, but I'm not bothered by it because it is on such a short length. I think it's, it's a cute crop cut. Um, and I didn't do a hard bump on it. I just did a slight bump. And I think this style is super cute, but this is not something I would gravitate towards automatically just because I like longer wigs. So as far as the quality of this wig, I think they bring it with the quality. Even though I'm partial to longer wigs, the quality of this wig is undeniable. So. Uh, the cap construction, I was looking at the inside, just the way they created it, it's just really nice quality. And then they have the elastic, the adjustable elastic band and the cap. So if you have a bigger head, you can loosen it. If you have a smaller head, you can tighten it. Um, in addition to having combs and adjustable straps and everything in the cap. So this is gonna be a more expensive bob, but I think if you're somebody who is First of all, ready to invest and you don't mind, you know, investing in something that's a bit more high end, you're going to get what you pay for because they do so much for you. They bleach the knots, the lace is thin, and it's going to melt easily with your complexion. And this is a cute little crop cut. So I'm not mad at this wig and I can't really talk too much about the density being like too thin because I just did like a headband wig from RPG show that was a little bit too light in density for my taste. But this is a short bob. You don't need your bobs to be, you know, crazy thick. Um, even though it's fall now and you can get away with thicker bobs, but this is just something nice and lightweight to wear every day. Um, and they do have other color options if you're not a fan of, you know, the chunky blonde streaks. If you are interested in this wig from Royal Me, you can head over to their website and pick it up there. I have direct links and all the specs down below, the name and everything. Um, I'm wearing this fresh out the pack. A lot of times with my straight wigs, I just, I don't wash them first. I just go ahead and flat iron it and be on my way. But like kinky curly wigs and stuff, I tend to wash those ahead of time. So 
do what you want with your wigs. Shout out to Royal Me for sponsoring today's video. If you guys have any questions that I did not answer in this video, but you would like to know, just, you know, drop them down in the comment section and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Also follow me on all of my other social media platforms. I do have a planner YouTube channel called Hearts in the Plan where I show how I decorate my planner. I am a planner babe and I have been for almost two years. It's a big part of my daily life and I love to share it with that uh, channel. So definitely follow me there and my planner Instagram, which is also hearts in the plan and follow me on like to know it so you can shop my clothes and home decor and stuff like that. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.